I'm not joking, all my guys, them, them love me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. I know be OG, but if you ask them, them love me. I know they blow trees, only know me. guys welcome back to my channel so today welcome back to another vlog and it's just like a quick weekend getaway post tax season um refresher um i'm in a whole different state um all the way across the country um right now and you know i'm just gonna mm, this weekend i just got some few activities planned i have a photo shoot and then we have a few events to go we have like a few dinner um planned for me and my cousin going um that will be going and stuff um yeah so that's basically it right now i just um i just got a shower and i'm just gonna chill out a little bit with my cousin and stuff in the backyard and just relax for the rest of the day so i'm just gonna show you what a review look like in the back end. Oh, sorry for zooming up in my face, but okay. I'm gonna show you what the view look like with the backyard and stuff. So here, we were just sitting here having a chat, you know? And maybe later, we have an above the ground pool and stuff. We might just like chill here later. Um, who knows, you know? My cousin currently sweaty. <laughs> She's cleaning because she don't want to be at the camera. And then we have this chair here, the swing chair here. Um, we planned. I planned. <laughs> Not really me. We got um, some cabbage here. We got um, I forgot all the stuff. I, I think cucumber and some other stuff. We have kalalu. We have tomato. We got pepper and stuff. So basically, that's just how the backyard looks, you know. So I'm just gonna chill. Um, don't got had anything uh, much planned for the rest of the evening. Actually, my cousin is at work right now. She's at work right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just like my older cousin that I know where to go out with. You saw her in my vlog and stuff. So. Yeah, we're just gonna um, chill here trying to get used to this whole vlogging thing as I mentioned um, Earlier or in the previous Jamaica vlog that I did go watch it or check it out if you haven't checked it out yet and stuff and yeah so guys um, You know you could get like on my channel you can expect for me to do like a lot of hair videos because I like doing hair I have a passion for that so you'll get like a lot of wig videos um you get videos like when I'm installing my mom's wigs and stuff I have a few other stuff that I have planned you'll be getting vlogs and stuff so like whenever I go out like get ready with me type of vlog and she and um also like you know whenever I go out if it is somewhere that I want to share because oftentimes I'm like kind of like a private person I don't like to share too much of my life on social media but it's like stuff that I I have no problem sharing I'll go ahead and share um yeah that's what I'm trying to do so basically you'll get like vlogs whenever it's not like really like tax season because in tax season um i work longer hours i don't really have much free time and stuff so i'm gonna try to give you consistent vlogs and stuff um so yeah that's basically it um over time hopefully i'll start becoming a talker uh naturally i am not really like a talkative person i don't just like sit and just talk um right away unless i have like company when we're discussing something so yeah most of the time you'll see me i'll vlog mostly like whenever i'm around someone or like a family member uh i don't really have friends like that my friend is basically my cousin that i travel with like i trust her um you know 
you know yeah stuff like that i don't really trust people that easily um yeah so mostly like i'm very close with her and stuff so you mostly see her in my vlogs and stuff on this my mom we go out or whatever and i want to share a moment i'll definitely do that but you will be getting like a lot of get ready with me or like solo date nights type of vibe and stuff so yeah i'm really excited for what i have planned for this weekend um currently it's like where i'm at is like really hot today was like 96 degree tomorrow should be 99 degree and stuff so um i'm really excited for this weekend i got so many things planned um i'm not really like a party well i like partying and stuff but i'm mostly like a fine dining type of girl you know i like getting up getting dressed and looking cute putting on some heels yeah showing you know you know you know putting on some heels and going to a you know Find that and find dining in like those close restaurants and stuff. I like <clears throat> expensive dining. That's just me. And um, that's what I always do. I just do that for myself. So I like to like search up like some top restaurants or recommendations somewhere that I have like nice aesthetic. And I'll just go there, <laughs> find and dine, see what I like and stuff. So basically that's what I like doing. I like going to like some, yeah top class bars and stuff like rooftop type of shit yeah i'm that type of girl you know and stuff um but yeah so i installed this wig and i did dye it jet black i initially when the wig came it wasn't as full as i wanted it to be so i added another bundle and now it's full so full yeah, I wanted to add two bundles to be honest, but I just added one bundle and it's so full. I love it. Um, because it's so hot here and I sweat, I just don't want to um, remove the melt band because I don't want it to be lift up and I need it to be, I need my lace to be um, laid, like stay laid. Like, you know? Yeah. So I'm gonna just wear my sweatband. Yep. Hello, you can't help me out, like help my brother out now. Hey, Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. So today I'm doing my Whoa, graduation girl. shoot. You look like money. <gasps> yes. Okay. Are you still a vlog? I still a vlog, come. I'm in the top. Where are you going to do your first shoot? He's going to start. Yeah, we're going to start. Okay. Right here. Alrighty. Yeah, we're going to move around. Okay. It's going to be the suit first and then okay. the down last. And you can give it to her. And to Maria. The shoes are right there, so. Oh my god, what's this shoe? I'm the one that put this outfit together, guys. <laughs> Influence. Quick trip over there. It's dark. Okay. Yeah, okay, you know, the light. Need to go. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the first day. I'm going to show you why I switched you. Good. So the first, so these are what we have, right? Mm -hmm. See how the background is blown out? Oh, it's right, brighter. yeah. Which, it's fine, mm -hmm. but... Oh, this, yeah, they're yep. cute. Oh, and you want to add those smiles. Yeah. 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 You see your hand there, you yeah. tighten it oh, up. Right, so it's yeah. supposed to relax. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, okay. A, that's our warm-up. We're ready, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Three at all. It's mommy. 
Woman empowerment, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. fierce. <laughs> oh, yeah, but relax. No. Come on, you're not doing right. stuff. Then. No, after the show. Now you're getting it. Good. And one more like that. Good. 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 I'm gonna sit in. I want to talk to people like back in the days. Like, um, they don't have like. Um, Good. I'm gonna have you fold your arms. I'm gonna have you look right about here. Right yeah. Right there. And one more. Give us a bigger smile. There we go. Good. Yeah, she met me have to come off our work. Me not even sleep. Me have to come off our work. Look at it. Me have to come off our work. Not even sleep.
freestyle. Okay. We'll get you right here in the middle. Right there it is. Yeah. Right there. And half body first. Close on me, just like that, and look right about here. I'm gonna shoot. That's why I ain't recording. Love. <laughs> Let's go body on this one. Get some love. <laughs> Out here supporting the squad, and that's what we do. We support the squad. It's all about the tribe, baby. One more. Now we're getting a little artsy. Okay. So it's like do something. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna do the Dancing through the world for blurring your division After make amends First man Determine our diligence With talent and weakness Drink up above any challenge Wait for love to give No musket to return I saw it go for me We live by just the union retreat Our wheels are pretty big I can't face over me That's what it is Yes Motivation Inspire, inspire Yo, yo Then call them <laughs> Micro Villas. Flanges. <laughs> Flanges. So, hi guys. Just got back from my shoot. So, I did a photo shoot because I am finally graduating with my master's degree in accounting and I had like photo shoot and stuff. So I went and I just got back home. The shoot went well. Um, yeah, and this is one of my dress. This is a dress that I wore in my shoot. <laughs> so yeah, it has this whole frill thing. <laughs> it has this whole frill thing going on at the sides and stuff. So it's very cute. I like it and stuff. Um, and I also saw in some of the photos, they look bomb. Some of them don't even need no editing because a girl just nice <laughs> and stuff. But yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, we're gonna go on the road later and stuff. I have this to clean up. Let me show you how messy the bathroom look right now. So. I got equipment everywhere, like a bunch of makeup and stuff. So I gotta go clean this up, um, take my makeup off because, you know, I gotta let my face breathe for the day and whatnot. But yeah, this hair is actually so nice. You see how long it is? Yup, and it's curled. But I installed it, you see? What lace? What lace, baby? What lace? What lace? Like. Okay. Yeah, because it's because it's noisy. But yeah. And I'll catch you up in the next clip when we're, I'm doing something. I gotta go get something to eat. I gotta go get uh, make breakfast and stuff because it's what time now? It's like 9.32 right now. 9.32 so I gotta go get something to eat. I'm starving. Get tea.
and all that i still have to get used to looking here hey you guys is it on the screen but yeah so yes guys so i suck my makeup off and you know change and then now I'm about to go get something to eat, get some breakfast hey, to bro, eat. When you say they look to eat. Girl, my <laughs> hungry man. It's now 10:38. This is still out there where they look. Where they asking for the ATL. You're my seat. So I'm gonna get some. You're not seeing nothing. Let's eat. Come on, table. So I'm gonna get something to eat, guys. I have an answer. So you still bought hmm? You still bought mm -hmm. Okay. This is a business question. <laughs> okay. Here, hold on. Okay. Right. They never like to share information. And you know what? The white people, like, if you ask them, they're going to be like, hey, this is how you do so and so, right, 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 or right. blah, blah, blah. But not with the black we're, people. We're big on gossip. Right, right. But important information. We hold. We hold it. We hold Anything it. to benefit uh, someone else. I'm like, right. the, the cake is big enough. We we can Everybody all eat from the same cake. Everybody right? can eat. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can eat. I mean, yeah. even Last Supper, they still they share the bread and the chalice. <laughs> Everybody got a drink, right? Everybody got a piece of bread. Right. You know what I'm so we're the only people that don't want nobody else to eat. Right. Always get cute. First of all, you can't do it on yourself. But that's what they think. They feel like with them withholding the information is doing something to them, meaning like probably they are the only one like in that category that can do like you know that thing. But I mean, or, or they don't want they don't want you to overeat them. Right, right, right. Not understanding. Well, maybe this is the only level that you can handle. Right? Maybe this is the capacity that you can handle. So that's your life. Right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean don't share the information to someone else to say, you know what? I'm going to hand the baton to you. Go ahead and run a little further. Mm -hmm. right? Opening more opportunity for me when I get to that level. So I'll hand the baton to you, right? Mm -hmm. Because as a whole, we're all going to progress. Right. But we like our name and lines. We don't like to be behind the scenes. Right. We want to be flashy. We want to be. Diddy ain't the only one, the bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> There's a lot of other people working at Bad Boy that helps Diddy be Diddy, right? Jay Z ain't the only one. He's just a front runner. Mm -hmm. But he ain't the whole person with the package together, right? So, for instance, LeBron James is, is, is evident. LeBron James took four of not LeBron James never went to college. He came out of the came out of high school, went straight into the to basketball, mm -hmm. right, to the NBA. He brought four of his high school friends with him. One of the high school friends is Rich Paul. Mm -hmm. One is with Adele. He is a major sport agent right now because of LeBron. You got another person that's his business manager that does all of the Nike deals and all the other deals with him. Right. He has another one that has, a, I don't know if you ever watched a little barbershop thing that LeBron has where he has celebrities coming in and talking. All these guys played on his Little League basketball. They're all from Akron, Ohio. He brought these guys along with him. Mm -hmm. He didn't go out and pay these top people. He brought three guys he hung out with all the time as his business partner, and they have amassed a billion dollars for LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Most of these guys you don't even know about. You never even heard of the rest of the guys. Okay, you heard of Rich Paul, right? But mainly because he with a deal right now that you heard of Rich Paul or whatever. Right. Rich, Rich Paul has amassed all these rich billions of dollars, or millions of dollars, I should say, all by being, understanding the brand. Mm -hmm. They were all in LeBron's brand, right? Right. They never, they never, they know that he was the front runner. They never went against what he had going on. And because of that, they've been able to amass their own businesses, and have their own credibility in respect. Right. We as black people, we don't do that. We don't want to share no info, information. Nothing. Well, gossip though, we'll share your business. Right. For sure, business. they'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. They'll share your personal business, but they won't share no information to help you elevate you know, in life. Nothing. Right. To say, okay, share me this information, 
let me go get it, right? I'm heading in that direction. But the thing is, someone has to teach them in right. order for them to understand. So why is it that I, I never get it? Freely receive. Really good. And then what they want to do now is like, oh, I have this online course, you have to sign up for it, pay right. this amount of money, and I teach you to do this, like, bro, you can right. just, like, you know. And if you go to the online course, they teach you absolutely nothing. nothing. right? It's general information that you could have Googled yourself and got that information. They don't say, well, how you, how you do the plug? How you, you know what I'm saying? How you do it? Nah, and this is what you need to do. You need to get your money together, wake up 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? in the morning, make sure, and, and you're, yeah, you're supposed to do that, right? Keep a fresh mind, you're a fresh mind, or whatever. But they never show you how to say, okay, this is how you go about buying your first house. Right? That's right. a real estate, for instance. Right, this, right. This is how you do it. Listen, this is how you buy a house with no money. Right, yeah. You're not going to be able to just do it with no money without having the knowledge or the links to do that. Do it, uh, exactly. Right? So, so let me just tell you the right Because there are like certain programs and stuff like that. Certain right? programs. Mm. Let me tell you about these programs. Let me show you how to apply for the programs. Let me show you how to do this, this, and that. Right? Mm -hmm. So I understand. That's at least at least in part one, in class one, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Right. <laughs> now I ain't gonna give you class two, you gotta go back and pay for that. <laughs> right, yeah, that's well, what they do. Right, but because because you did went ahead and did class one and, and have some success with it, you gonna pay for class two. Class two, two. right, so exactly. How to do this, this, and that. Right. Okay. Class two now you made you some money. Class two is this. <laughs> Right? Yeah, something like that, somewhat like that happened to me. So, in the beginning, like, I was like, because I'm always fascinated with the whole stock market thing, how it works with the options and stuff, like, you can do that daily trade and stuff. So, in the process of doing that, right? Because, you know, the stock market, there's a lot of book you have to read and stuff. So, I was like, okay, I was still doing my master's at the time. And I can run because it's a black girl, right? right? And she was talking, she was telling her story. Her husband owned a hedge fund, right. but now they're separated. But at the time, her husband owned a hedge fund and she was running this business where she teach people how to do the stock thing and stuff. Right. And so I saw the program, I saw like a lot of reviews, a lot of black people doing it. They'd be screenshotting their stuff to show like, oh, this is what they made on the trade and you know what they have learned. Cause they had this whole community thing, community thing. So people who, or oh, um, by the program you can you know go um, communicate with them and stuff like that her program initially was like fifteen hundred dollars right and I got it on a sale where she was doing it for a thousand dollar so I'm going to be like okay she's like okay this is like beginner friendly so they teach you like the basics leading up to you know how to do the trade and all that stuff I paid that thousand dollar and I still didn't learn a thing everything was just so vague right. so the moment you get into that group now they're telling you okay you need to buy this software thing that indicates to you like okay this is the stock that you should put your money behind to do the options and stuff but then you have to pay another three thousand dollars i'm like i'm not doing that because i paid thousand dollars already right and i still didn't get anything because i still have to be doing research on my own doing trial and error because you know just to try to you know to understand the stock market which i think like now that i'm done with my masters that's something i'm gonna start focus on because there's money to be made on the stock market right, right. but yeah paint like I, I just don't get it and, and the thing about it is is that i paid a thousand dollars for you to tell me that there's software out here right that can you know, indicate you, exactly thousand dollars on the software and just excommunicate i understand i understand the whole business of selling information. Right. Certain certain information, right? Mm -hmm. and, and as a whole, you can give somebody some information and they don't use it, right? Mm -hmm. the, old, the old pimps back in the day say, hey man, the game is sold, not told, right? Right. And the reason why they say that is because if you give somebody some, uh, some knowledge, they don't do nothing with it. You know, like, I gave you a whole bunch of information that you ain't do anything with. Right. I mean, you can think back to say how much information you gave somebody and they haven't done anything with it and they expect you to do it. To do something. Before. Right, exactly. Before, you're like, nah, I'm not giving you no more information, right? Mm -hmm. People respect it more when you sell it to them. Right. Yeah, some folks that they respect it more if you sell the information to them. Because they said, okay, they paid for it, so they'll pay attention they'll, they'll to pay it. Attention, right. Pay attention to it. But then you have some people that, that are asking you some some pertinent questions to say, hey, listen, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to get out of here, but I'm stuck, right? Mm. 
So then you give them a piece of information, say, hey, try this to see if that'll help you get past that stuck point. Right. Now, if you watch them do it and it gets past the stuck point, then you're like, okay, you're serious. Because you don't want to waste no time with somebody that ain't serious. Right, yeah. I'm definitely eating the butter of the bread, then you eat the butter of the bread. Right. So, 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 yeah, you're, you're more apt to, to go ahead and, and understand, okay, you're not playing. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to waste your time with somebody that's playing with you. you right, like, yeah. You're playing about that, you're not serious. But when you got somebody that's hungry for the knowledge and like, yo, just just help me out, just help me get over the stuck point mm -hmm. or whatever. I know it took you all these years to learn it, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just asking you, just help me get through the stuck point and then a, you know, because sometimes the business is not with other races, other ethnic, ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. They may give you some information that you may not have paid for, but in the back end, you remember them to say, hey, I'm going to throw some business your way. Right, right, right. right. I what you did for me. Exactly. I'm going to have to give you the money now, but I'm going to help you with an opportunity. Right. right. I got this opportunity that, you know, we can both, we can both eat. Right? Mm -hmm. But we don't do that anymore. We, we don't. We don't. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're, we're not, a, we're not a, a family community anymore, and we're darn sure not a business community. And that's, our, that's, why, that's our, one of our biggest downfalls. That's our downfall. That's what that's, that's our downfall. Once again, other ethnicities, other groups, they can fight, they can argue, but if good business comes along, right. they call, call you right up, hey, AJ. Y'all got this business deal. You know what I'm saying? Well, we gonna cuss later about that other thing. But we got well, business. yeah, business we first. Business. Right, exactly, exactly. But us as a culture, we would rather just go broke. Then let somebody else eat. Right. I'm not, yeah. I don't understand yeah. that. Man, That's so selfish. Man, if I can eat and you can eat, hey, man, I'll pass you a plate. I don't mind. Right. But we hold on to information. Hold on. Gotta, yep. We got to release information. You know what I mean? Because the releasing of information, I believe the way God works in nature is he'll let some more information come to you. Right, exactly. They normally say, oh, give and it will come back to you. That's what they normally say, right? It's a principle. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure. <laughs> run it over. Right. And it says, shall men give unto you. So the more information that you give to help somebody, the more, the more information is going to come back mm -hmm. that you're going to get that you're going to be like, thank you. And it's more than money. The information is more than money. Right. Like me and Akilah was talking, information, information is the key to everything. But the time of the information is important. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I see a ball get ready to hit you in the head, and I allow a ball to hit you, and then say, hey man, watch out. <laughs> the, the, the information was great. <laughs> but you told me way too late for me to, 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 to have the opportunity to, to not get hit in the head. Right? right, exactly. Or if I give you some information that you're not ready for, the time is off too. Mm -hmm. Because now you don't know how to use it. Use it, right. The information that you don't know how to use. Right. So not only the information, but the perfect timing of the information is great. Mm -hmm. You know, to say, okay, I see what you're trying to do. Why don't you try this? You ain't got to get the whole game to them. Try this one thing. And see if they try. And they try, you're like, okay, you serious. Because <laughs> matter of fact, you ain't even got to go to them and say, hey, did you try that idea again? They going to come to you and be like, hey, man, listen. That little idea you gave me. Well, brilliant. Yes, right, right. And we get together. And I know you're busy, I'll buy some of your time. Right. And you go ahead and kick the game to me. And that's the, the people that you want. Yeah, you can't give everything away. Right, yeah. But at least give a piece of it away. To right, the basics. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you just piece on how to get started. You know what I'm saying? Try this, this, that, that, and the other. And, and that's, and that will help our community drastically. Because there's no reason why a certain population or a certain group has a hold on the hair care industry. Mm -hmm. When black folks spend more money, right? <laughs> Sixty billion dollars in hair care products that we don't own the industry that we sell the products. To. Right. But they're able to get to the, get a group together to buy in bulk and sell amongst each other. 
and block out certain groups from getting it. Mm -mm. But black folks don't want to put their money together. That's the thing. It's they like, they they lack community. That's what yeah. It, it's like it's like some I'm gonna put them on front street. It's like black churches. You got some you got some pastors. Morning. Um, you know, I have been trying to vlog all weekend, but honestly, it has been hard. I did. I went out yesterday. Went for dinner. Got some drink and stuff. I forgot to film that. To be honest. Um, I need to do better with this vlogging thing. It's not all the time like cuz I'm not used to it like picking up the camera all the time to vlog and stuff But yeah, we have a day party to go to today um, So it's like kind of something like signs where you bring your liquor and you just pay for your, your table your cabana and stuff so That's what we have planned for today um I still have my band on because I'm trying to keep my lace melted because the time is so hot and I don't want my my lace was lifting up last night so I put this back on and now it's back down so I'm not trying to take it up right now but I have a day party to go to later so now we're just going to go on the road get some patrons and some other liquor to take and stuff uh, maybe I'm gonna try to see if I could take you guys on the road with me I might forget, you know, but let's see. I might not bring the camera, but I might do it from my phone. So let's see. So basically, I'm just in this thing. I normally sleep in this, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just put it on anyways to go on the road. So I'm in this short dress thing that I got from H&M. Basically. And when we come back, we're going to go to the pool to chill a little bit cool down and stuff I'm gonna take some pictures I'll show you guys all that and then um, yeah you'll see in this one where I'm getting ready put it on my makeup and put it on my dress to go to the party and stuff uh, that's me and my cousin so yeah enough of my talking because my face has been breaking out right really bad but enough of the talking and I'll see you in the next clip bye so guys, I'm back. I am currently doing my makeup for this whole day party that I told you guys earlier about. So yeah, I'm just going to show you that. This is how the whole setup here. I'm going to start with my brows and stuff. And yeah.
So guys, we were running late as usual. I'm always late, but this is how the, my makeup turned out. Um, yeah. Guys, we're going to the pool right now, and I'm just gonna show you a quick outfit. Um, my pool outfit, okay? So, this is my pool outfit. Yeah. It's so cute with this little fro thing. Um, the fro thing going on. But yeah, we're going to the pool outside. So, yep. Oh, guys, it's still hot here right now. The temperature is like 99 degrees or somewhere there. It is hot. So, here we're we going. It's pool time. Oh, guys, it's so hot. 99 degrees is like really hot right now so she's cleaning it so yeah we out I'm gonna take some cute pics and stuff taking some cute pics and yeah and after this I have a flight to catch tonight <laughs> my flight is at 11 in the night so right now it's like almost 7 o'clock so I'm gonna chill here a little bit the thing is that I don't have any check bag, it's just like carry-ons only so I could basically reach at the airport. My boarding time is like 10.30 something, so I could just basically go to the airport at like probably like 9.30. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, just checking in with you guys because it's been like days that I haven't checked in with you guys. It's been days. Um, guys, honestly, I've been trying to vlog. We did so many fun stuff. Like, I went to the party, uh, date party yesterday. Um, we went out for dinner on Saturday night. That was fun. Like, I did so many, but I don't think about taking up the camera. That's the thing, because I'm not used to, like, vlogging, you know, all that stuff. So, I just didn't take up the camera, to be honest. But I'm trying to get better at it, okay? Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're just basically cleaning it out now. And then we're going to start. So hi guys. So finally I made it to the airport. Surprisingly this airport is not an airport that is usually full. I don't know where people go in. It's currently um i'm on my phone but wait, can you see it uh hold on oh i'm on uh, well you can't see because i'm on the phone but it's currently 10 39 right now and this airport is full so my flight won't be reaching in until in the morning um because this flight is like five hours long so yeah surprisingly um the airport is mad full and stuff but anyways i just think this is where i'm gonna end out this vlog um thanks to all who have been watching and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so see you guys in the next vlog bye